How to upgrade your old Tesla Model S and X infotainment system. Tesla now offers $2,500 infotainment upgrade for old Model S and X and in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your old infotainment system, what you gain and what you lose. Hello everyone, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Thanks for watching our channel and welcome back to our channel. Please subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified when I upload my next Tesla news update in the morning. Old Tesla Model S and Model X owners whose vehicles were built before March 2018 can now upgrade their infotainment system to access new features as well as more advanced and smoother user experience, um, announced Tesla today. Tesla's infotainment upgrade for Model S and Model X will add Netflix, YouTube after MCU update. Tesla Model S and Model X owners on the first generation Media Control Unit MCU1 can now up upgrade to MCU2 hardware through a new infotainment upgrade offering and uh, for a 2500 price tag. So we're talking about upgrading the hardware, not only the software. It's hard to argue that uh, there is any native car infotainment system better than Tesla's. But the first generation Tesla infotainment system has slowed down and the units are quite a few steps behind Tesla's second generation MCU. MCU stands for Media Control Unit. Media Control Unit, MCU. Now, several major recent software upgrades from Tesla have announced a lot of new features that require more computer power that older Tesla vehicles don't have. Some Model S and Model X owners have been requesting a way to upgrade their computer, which CEO Elon Musk said is possible. But Tesla wouldn't let its service center do it. Now, the automaker has created an official infotainment upgrade program with a page on its support website. I will put a link to that infotainment system upgrade page in the description of this video so you can know how to make the upgrade and how to go about this. Please check that out. Tesla's MCU upgrade page reads the following. Upgrade your infotainment system to access new features as well as more advanced and smoother user experience. Owners of Model S and Model X built March 2018 or earlier March 2018 or earlier, will be eligible to purchase an infotainment upgrade enabling access to some of our favorite features like video streaming and an expanded Tesla Arcade in addition to a more responsive and faster touchscreen experience. The upgrade costs $2,500 plus applicable tax including installation but owners will not be able to make requests for purchasing the upgrade and must wait to be notified. Although Tesla notes that owners that have already purchased the full self-driving capability will be given early access to, be, uh, to the infotainment upgrade. The owners who pay $2,500 to get the new computer will receive the following features and performance improvements. Performance, audio and music, gaming, entertainment such as Netflix and YouTube, driver assistance, security and Wi-Fi which will support 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks. But there is a negative side to this MCU upgrade too. On the negative side, people, the owners of old Tesla Model S and X, will lose access to AM radio, FM radio, or Sirius XM radio since it's not a feature that Tesla built into the new computer as it moves toward music streaming. Also some of the features are linked to Tesla's $10 a month premium connectivity package which, may, which many owners of older Model S and Model X vehicles already have. 
Here's what older Model S and Model X owners will get when they purchase Tesla's infotainment upgrade. Your touchscreen will be more responsive and smoother, rendering images and web pages faster. You'll also gain additional features that enhance both the entertainment and functionality of your car. Some people on Reddit say this infotainment system upgrade is not worth it for old Tesla Model S and Model X owners. For example, one owner writes that since he has an AP1 car, refers to Autopilot 1, he says he knew the only thing he would get out of this MCU upgrade is a better entertainment tab, so the price was the only thing he cared about. He writes, it's not worth it to me, but if I had AP2+, Plus, it's mighty, uh, it's a mighty tempting set, he said. Another Model X owner writes this. I have got a 2017 Tesla Model X90D. Definitely going to pull the trigger. Granted, I've got 750 of Tesla store credit from solar I need to use it. But for me, the added benefit of dash cam, sentry mood, video screaming, uh, streaming and all the future updates that will require MCU2 are more than worth the $2,500 price, especially considering I spent $95,000 on the car and also <coughs> not having to worry about the EMMC failures that MCU1 may eventually suffer from outside of warranty, he says. So as you can see, for some people, although they are not worried about losing the FM radio, but they are more happy about the sentry mood. Recently, we have seen how many good things have come from the sentry mood. So as you notice, FM radio will go if you upgrade your old Tesla infotainment unit. Still, it seems weird that it's not included. You think the hardware to receive a basic radio FM signal could be added to the MCU board literally for pennies. This is what most people may think, but I don't know what Tesla does and how they think about these things. You need to take a lot of things into consideration. For some reason, for some reason, the loss of FM radio will be a dealer breaker. Another person writes, for example, on social media, this is a deal breaker for me. I hardly ever use the FM radio when I go driving in the car, but I sure use it all the time when I go to the driving. It's the perfect car for going to driving. This will definitely not work for me, he writes. Yes, for some others, the MCU Tesla upgrade is a big and welcome news. Upgrade seems like a no-brainer if you have an older Tesla Model S or Model X, if you also have the money. I am glad to see Tesla supporting those with older cars. Tesla really has done so many firsts with the auto industry. So now we see these updates coming. For many people, this is a welcome news and a good news that Tesla really cares for the uh, owners of older Tesla Model and Model X uh, owned uh, buyers who supported Tesla in early stage and now they have these updates coming up. What do you think about these updates? Do you think the, the price is too high or just about right or even low? considering you're spending eighty to ninety thousand dollars on a Model S or Model X. Do you think the, uh, the lack of, uh, uh, the lack of uh, FM radio, Sirius radio, and I think there was an AM radio, do you think they being gone in this new update will be a deal breaker for you or you will still welcome them because you're getting some other benefits such as sentry mode? Uh, sentry mode, we have recently seen how many good things have come from it, like how many thieves uh, or bad guys who wanted to harm people's uh, Teslas were caught by sentry mode. So uh, please let us know, comment below and uh, maybe you have other questions that I didn't cover here and you can come up with those questions and cover them below in the comments and, uh, and we can start discussion uh, going. Please let us know, subscribe to our channel and visit us at www.torquenews.com and if you go to torquenews.com slash Tesla, you will see our daily 
Tesla coverage from torquenews.com. Like this video, comment below, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell because in the morning I'm going to bring a couple of more Tesla stories uh, regarding the Gigafactory update in, from Berlin and also what cars they will be making in Berlin. Have a blessed evening and rest of the day.